and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I hope that y'all are doing awesome. Today we have another video in my Pride Month series talking about different LGBTQIA identities. Today we're going to be discussing the Q in LGBTQIA+. The Q is often included in the LGBT acronym to stand for people who identify as either queer or questioning. Just one Q is used instead of using two, even though it can stand for both queer and questioning. Questioning is a term that is used to describe people who are going through the process of discovering their sexual orientation or gender identity. People who are questioning, for example, whether they are straight or gay, may want to use this label until they've narrowed down their sexual orientation. A person who is questioning might feel that they're different, but isn't quite sure how yet. They're still exploring. Queer is what is known as a reclaimed label. For years, queer has been used as a slur or a derogatory term to put down gay people, and it is still used in this way at times today. Today, though, some LGBT plus people, especially young people, use the term queer as an identity to denote that they simply aren't heterosexual and or cisgender. People who use this label may feel that terms like gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, etc. are too rigid or limiting, and that these terms don't accurately describe them in a way that makes them feel comfortable using them. They may feel the terms have connotations that don't apply to them, and therefore they simply just prefer the term queer. Queer just denotes that they're non-heterosexual, or that they don't fit cultural norms about sexuality or gender identity and expression. Additionally, some people may use this when they feel their sexuality or gender identity is complicated or can't be boxed in within the confines of current labels. Some people within the LGBT plus community do not accept the reclamation of the term queer and still take offense to its use. You should never label someone as queer or describe someone as queer unless they've told you this is their preferred term for their identity. Queer is a valid orientation and we need to be respectful of its use as a label for some people's identities. However, we also need to be respectful of, of the fact that there are many people who still find offense in a term that was used for years as a slur. I hope that this video was helpful in defining these two identities. Check out the description box down below for my sources and other resources if you're interested in learning more. You'll also find resources for finding LGBT plus affirmative therapists and for crisis and suicide hotlines. If you are considering suicide, please do call a crisis or suicide hotline or call 911. Suicide is never the answer and you are worth it. I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.